morning guys, we are down here in the Sea of Cortez and we are anchored at Isla San Francisco this morning. It's a beautiful day. And today we're gonna to talk you through how to pick up a mooring ball. Whenever you come in to pick up a mooring ball, it's really interesting. At least half of the people in all the anchorage are gonna be looking through hatches or popping up or just to kind of watch you to see how good of a sailor you are. And they're gonna be judging you on how well you do when you pick up that mooring ball. We've seen people come flying in, usually the wife's up on the bow, husband at the helm. They're yelling at each other back and forth. Sometimes they hit other boats. We wanna make sure you avoid that. We're gonna show you a couple simple steps just to make sure that you know how to do this well. We're gonna show you how to nail picking up a mooring and look like a pro in the process. So as you enter the mooring field, you wanna find out where the wind is coming from. One of the easiest things to do at this point is to look at the other boats, see which angle they're kind of pointing at, and that'll give you a good clue of just where the wind is. We like to do a lap through the mooring field just to check things out. At this point, you can be looking for hazards in the water. You can kind of be looking at distance between boats. And one really important thing is we like to have somebody up on the bow of the boat looking down as you approach each mooring pennant, which is the line coming off the mooring ball, just to kind of inspect it, just to make sure, hey, it's in good condition. It's not barnacle encrusted. You're gonna be trusting your boat to this line. So you wanna make sure it's a good one. Once you've decided on your mooring ball, then you wanna get everything ready to come in and pick that ball up. So if you're nervous, choose a mooring ball that's a little further out. Don't try to get the most difficult one close into the beach where it's crowded. Choose one that's a little easier just for your first time. Really important at this point too, talk to your crew about hand signals. Just make sure you agree on what the communication's gonna be between the helmsman and the person up on the bow. We like to actually have the person on the bow who's gonna retrieve it point with the boat hook and use gestures with their hand, like either come forward or hold. Then the other thing that's important is, as you get closer to that mooring ball and you're half a boat length to a boat length away, depending on the height of the freeboard on your boat, you're gonna lose sight of the mooring ball. So you want the person up on the bow to be telling you or giving you some signals to let you know how far you are from the mooring ball. Some people do hand signals for the distance. We actually like turning around and saying, 10 feet, five feet, four feet, just so you kind of know how far you are. And keep pointing with the boat hook to right where it is. We want to go ahead and get the mooring bridle ready, all set up on the bow. Always want to use a mooring bridle, guys. You'll see people cheat and just take one line from a cleat, run it down through the pennant and back. One line is not a good idea. Just with chafing, that can break. Always use a mooring bridle, which means you're going to have one line from each cleat through and back. So you've got two lines holding the boat. So really important now, you wanna pick it up from dead downwind. So what this means is plan your approach from as far out as possible and come in right at that mooring ball so that your boat is into the wind. Be watching your wind indicator on your instruments to make sure you're into the wind. You can also look at your flags just to make sure you're really into the wind. Now, as you approach, the most important thing with picking up a mooring ball is speed control. You want to make sure that your boat pulls up and stops right next to that mooring ball and you don't have speed. The biggest mistake we see when people are picking up a mooring ball is they come in really hot. And so if you're coming flying in, someone's up on the bow and they reach down to grab that pennant, they're not going to have the time they need to grab the pennant, put the bridle through it and clean it off. You need a minimum of 15 seconds for somebody to do that. So to do that, you've got to control your speed. Put your boat first click and forward, just come in real slow. And when you get about one to two boat lengths away, depending on the wind, at this point, you're gonna go, want to go ahead and put it in neutral and glide in the rest of the way. You can always give it little more bursts and forward if you need to inch forward, but you definitely don't wanna come in too hot. When you see the person on the bow reach down with the boat hook to grab the pennant, that's when the helmsman wants to give it just a little bit of reverse to stop that boat. You want the bow of the boat to stop right next to the mooring ball so they get their 15 seconds to reach down, grab it, feed the bridle through, and clean it off. One of the mistakes we see, people try to get two lines down and get that bridle sorted. It's a little too difficult at this point. You just want to get one line attached to that mooring ball. Once you've got one attached nicely, then it's easy to go ahead and get the second one and get your bridle sorted. If you're in a nice warm place, guys, really good idea. Throw on a mask and snorkel and just inspect your mooring pennant and your line that goes from the mooring ball all the way down to the anchor on the seabed. Just make sure 
It's nice and strong. There's no nicks or cuts. Again, you're trusting your boat to that line, so you want to make sure it's in good condition. Well guys, we're gonna go hop in the water and take a swim and go swim with the sea lions. These playful creatures are amazing and this is often the highlight of the week for us, so we are gonna go have some fun. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified of future videos. Lots more great videos are in the works with all kinds of practical sailing tips. Be sure to check out the next video to continue learning from our basic sailing series.